So, in today's four fat loaders, what I like and dislike about all the episodes of Doctor Who Part 13. Like I say, this is going to go on a while, so I don't know how long it's likely. So, 121st story was Earthshock. Now, this was a bit of a sad story because it is um, Adric's last appearance. That's what's good about it, because it's not, it's not that I like companions last appearances but they seem to be better stories than other stories but what's not good about it is it's just some of the acting and some of the special effects aren't good but what's good about it is the Cybermen story and I love Cybermen as stories 122nd is Time Fighter I haven't actually watched this but I've seen a few clips I think I've seen a few clips and it seems okay I said I'm sure I can't really say much about it. 123 was Ark R- R- of Infinity. Now this is an okay story. Acting is actually quite good. But it's a typical 80s story. It's okay. It's actually got um, Colin Baker in it as well. The Doctor after Peter Davison. So that's what, that's what that, for me that's weird and good in a way. 124 was um, the snake dance or just snake dance. Now this was a okay story. Peter Davis, I do like Peter Davison as the Doctor. Sort of um, the first five are my five favourite ones, and um, it's okay. But some of the some of the filming you can see it's filmed in a studio. That's what lets it down for me. 125th was. My, d- I'm not sure, I'm dead. I haven't watched this at all and I haven't seen any clips of it, so I can't really say much about it. 126th was Terramus Tur- or Terramus. Now, this was an okay story for me, like most Peter Davison's were okay. But I didn't like about it was the villain didn't really seem that convincing. You could see that it was a person in a suit. That makes sense, but yeah, that's what lets it down. But other than that, it's a good story. Uh, 127 was en- 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 Enlightenment. Now, this was a really good story. I do really like this story of Peter Davison. But one thing what does let it down is some special effects. If the special effects were better, it would be a really good story. It is already a really good story because the acting and everything, but the special effects do let it down. But I know it was the 80s, so yeah. It was a typical 80s story for special effects, but the story and everything was really good for me. You may all disagree, but that's how I feel. 128 was The Kings of Demon Demons. Now this was an okay story for me, it's more of a not so good, because some of the special effects and some of the acting wasn't that good for me, but other than that it was a good story because the villain or the robot, it was a sort of villain but it wasn't, then it's got a twist at the end of what the robot is, but I'm not going to reveal, because I don't want to reveal the whole story to everyone. 129 was my favourite, my favourite one of Peter Davison because it brings back the other four incarnations, well, other than William Hartnell, but they bring back the first Doctor as Richard Herdnall, but in the story, it's the first Doctor. It brings back um, Patrick Trout and John Purdy. Tom Baker wasn't in the story because of John Nathan Turner. He didn't get on with John Nathan Turner, and he was still working on the show when the 30th or, yeah, no, 20th anniversary was. So that's why he didn't appear in it. So they used um, clips from Shadow. Or Shada, or Shada, or Shada. 130 was the Warriors of Dead Deep. I've not watched this at all, so I can't say anything. And as always, all information is correct as of recording, which is the 8th of July 2019. And this time I am recording, according to my watch, it is 10 10 38. According to my watch, it is 10 37. And thanks so very much for watching, and as always, good bye.